Hello guys and welcome back. This is Mystery Truth. Second huge supermoon discovered outside our solar system. The largest moon in our solar system is Jupiter's Ganymede, which has a radius of 1638.8 miles or about four tenths of the planet Earth and is twice as massive as our moon. That makes it a supermoon in our solar system. But a pony satellite, when compared to an exomoon discovered recently by astronomers that measures 2.5 times the size of Earth while orbiting a planet the size of Jupiter. So, ask today, do planets and moons suffer from size anxieties? Columbia University astronomer David Kipping is a superstar in the land of supermoons. He discovered the only two known to orbit exoplanets. As explained in the journal Nature Astronomy using the Kepler Space Telescope, he first found a Neptune-sized exomoon orbiting the Jupiter-sized planet Kepler 1625b in 2017, proving that exomoons really are terra incognita, a great name for a band, it means unknown land. He just now located a second one orbiting planet Kepler 1708b, 5500 light years from Earth. <coughs> These should correctly be called potential exomoons because confirming them involves peer review and scientific consensus amongst the astronomical community, according to Kipping. However, Kipping is pretty certain Kepler 1708b's exomoon will be confirmed. His school world's lab was studying a subset of the more than 10,000 known exoplanet candidates. 70 cool, giant transiting exoplanet candidates. They were looking for transmit signals seen when a moon passes in front of a planet, causing it to dim. Only one survived keeping kitchen sink test. The gas giant Kepler 1708b he believes its exomoon is also a gas giant, which according to another study, may have once been a planet that was captured by Kepler-1708b. These planets and moon swapping seem to be common the closer a planet is to its star. So keeping still focused on exoplanets with far out orbits like our Jupiter and Saturn, which have the biggest and the most satellites in our solar system. Why you would think discovering a second giant supermoon would be a big deal? Not all as astronomers are buying it. Some think it was just an errant signal and want more before they are convinced. Others doubt the existence of exomoons at all. The same was true of exoplanets before stronger telescopes and different discovery techniques proved otherwise. As the James Webb Space Telescope chugs its way to becoming operational, it's nice to salute the Kepler telescope, which spent a decade successfully looking for exoplanets and whose data continues to be beneficial three years after it retired. Wow. Do you think this supermoon is real? Do you think there's a supermoon outside this uh, galaxy and in the exoplanets? Whatever you have to say concerning this, you drop your comments in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.